Hey, good morning. Welcome back. So we're going to look today at 1 Samuel 4, verses 12 through 18. Then a man of Benjamin ran from the battle line the same day and came to Shiloh with his clothes torn and dirt on his head. Now when he came, there was Eli sitting on a seat by the wayside, watching, for his heart trembled for the ark of God. And when the man came into the city and told it, all the city cried out. When Eli heard the noise of the outcry, he said, What does the sound of this tumult mean? And the man came quickly and told Eli. Eli was ninety-eight years old, and his eyes were so dim that he could not see. Then the man said to Eli, I am he who came from the battle, and I fled today from the battle line. And he said, What happened, my son? So the messenger answered and said, Israel has fled before the Philistines, and there has been a great slaughter among the people. Also, your two sons, Hophni and Phinehas, are dead, and the ark of God has been captured. Then it happened, when he made mention of the ark of God, that Eli fell off the seat backward by the side of the gate, and his neck was broken, and he died. For the man was old and heavy, and he had judged Israel forty years. So this is that grim report. They decided they'd lost the battle to the Philistines. We're going to get win it next time. We're going to bring the ark of God with us, and of course we will certainly triumph. Uh, that was not an instruction God had given. It was presumption. And so, of course, this time they were uh, even dramatically uh, defeated more severely. So a message comes back. We've got this message. They're waiting. Eli's trembling. And this reminds us of Eli's character. He was kind of weak and vacillating. And he, he told his sons they were doing a lot of immorality. They should reform. But he didn't enforce it. God's judgment came upon him for that. Here he is. He's sitting in, in, there waiting. He's trembling for the ark of God. That's not exactly the kind of thing you would expect if... If, his, if he was all for, yeah, take the ark, go into the battle with it. I think he probably opposed that plan or wasn't happy with that plan, but he just didn't have enough forthrightness to resist it. And so he's here waiting for news. He's hoping it'll be good news. It's terrible news. Not only has the, his sons, Hophni and Phinehas, died, but the ark, the ark of Israel, has been taken. Eli falls over and dies. What what lessons are there here for us? It's sort of a grim little uh, vignette here. Perhaps Eli should have been more forthright in saying, no, 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 we don't take the ark into battle. We just don't do that, not without an explicit, definite direction from God. So he should have done that, but now he gets the word. The battle's been lost. Bringing the ark turned out to be a disastrous plan. We talked about that yesterday morning. His sons, Hophni and Phinehas, God fulfilled his purpose. They were wicked, they were evil, and so uh, he said they would die, and here they are, they're judged for that. God, when he judges something, doesn't it always like, you know, one, zero, zero, like 100% of the time, always goes where he says it's going to go? And so that's what you have here. This is the fulfillment. They were presumptuous. Israel was presumptuous. Eli was uh, negligent as a leader, and now it looks like it's curtains. It looks like it's the end. And again, we have the warning, what shall we do? Shall we be presumptuous? Shall we just go along with the crowd? If the crowd says, let's take the ark and go, do we just go along with that? Eli, perhaps, should have spoken up more and been firmer. He, after all, is the, the judge of Israel. He judged Israel for all these years, and now he's deceased. So he could have stopped it from happening. Sometimes you're the person. You know, usually you're not the person, but sometimes you are the person who could stop something tragic from happening. And in that time, you are, you know, you are there. You are on trial. You are in the spotlight. Heaven is looking for the sake of God's people. You need to stand up and be definite and clear. You do it kindly, but you have to be sometimes very definite and clear. This was not a trait for Eli. It just wasn't something for him. In our age, this is an important trait for us. Are we really ready to be faithful? Or are we just going to go along with the group and kind of wait for the bad news to come back? like it was here for Eli. Something to think on as we pray. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, help us. May you please bring to us leaders who can do a lot better than Eli. And if it, surely it's not us, Lord, but with your help, it can be us. Please give each one your help. And thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So a little lesson for us today. Eli trembling, waiting for news about the ark. And it was just the worst possible news it could be. A lesson for us, speak up when the moment comes, when you have to stand up for God's things. God be with you today and all that you do.